With the latest version of Field Service 8.2 and then 8.3, Microsoft have released a new version of the Field Service mobile application. So today we'll show you how to install the solution for Woodford and get it configured. So as you'll see, we've got 8.3 of Field Service installed. So now we're going to head over to the RESCO website and download the latest version of Woodford for Dynamics CRM. Now it should be around, I think it's about a 20 megabyte download, so it shouldn't take you too long. So once it's downloaded, we're then going to import it into our system. For anyone who hasn't done any imports before, if you go to settings solutions, and then import then we're going to just browse for the file that we've downloaded and what you'll see now is the resco solution in a zip file so it's 11.3 is the latest version that we have so we're just going to select that click next make sure that the sdk is enabled just run through that your own pace that'll take a couple of minutes to to import so we'll just speed to the end of that while that's downloading we'll head over and download the latest project file for field service mobile application now at the moment it's only available from microsoft in the coming weeks, I'm sure there'll be a URL posted, and as soon as it is, I'll add it on to the video. So we head over and just click on download and get it going for us all. So that's the solution now installed. If we give the page a quick refresh and then go to settings and Woodford. I've been using the new HTML5 editor because I find that works quite well. Now the first time that you fire the client up, you will need to put in your details to register. I've blocked mine out so you can't see it. Just make sure that you accept the RESCO collecting your data. So now we have the Woodford client open, we select import and then we will browse for our project file. After we import it, we will have to select what security roles have access to that project. So I'm going to enable all field service roles as well as the system admin. And what I tend to do is call the the project, the version that has been imported on, so FS83 will be for the 8.3 version. When you initially save and then double click to enter the project, it can do an update to just make sure that you have the latest version. You'll see it'll do it this time, there we go, project has been upgraded. So if we click OK just to confirm and go through that. So we're going to switch back into Dynamics and we're going to make sure that we have the user that we're going to log into the mobile application, make sure that they are enabled for field service mobile. So we'll just jump through to the field service modern interface application. We'll see it down the bottom here.
So as you see, I am in the system, but I'm just currently in there as an account. So I'll quickly create myself a new resource and make that resource a user to myself. And then I'll just pop back into the record and make sure that I go to field service and tick the correct button to make sure enabled for field service mobile is enabled. So that means I can then log into the application. Now two additional things that I do before we go any further if we just go back into Woodford. The current mobile application is on 11.1.3. So if you try and use the latest version, it can throw up an error to say you don't have the latest version. So we just check that down to 11.1 to 11.92 and publish. A quick change here that we're going to do is just make sure that the safe password is set to true in the configuration. If not, you can be asked to log in several times as you're going through different screens. So if we just go into configuration, use the search bar and search for password and set the flag to true. Now this is the fun part, we can now get into the field service mobile application. We can do a synchronize once we've put our usernames and passwords in. So we need the URL, username and password as always. Once we've done that, synchronize, it'll pull down accounts, addresses, contacts, bookings, any customer assets we've got in there. Hopefully that's guided some people through the process. See you in the next video.